one, it's Helen at Five Minute Drummer. I'm glad you could take five for yourself today. This lesson is about how to pick your beginner drumstick and what all those numbers and letters actually mean. So you might have done a little research already, and if not, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. So there are usually three numbers and two letters that you're gonna see on drumsticks. And the first number is a, a two, the next number is a five, and the third number you're probably gonna see is a seven. These numbers are telling us how heavy the sticks are. Um, then next to those numbers, you're probably gonna see a letter, like a B or an A. And the B or the A is telling us the thickness of the stick itself. So how do we work with these numbers and letters put together? So if I want to play a style of music that requires volume, I'm gonna pick a heavier stick. So a, for example, a 2B. A 2B is a nice heavy stick. It's great for rock music. As opposed to something like a 7A, which is much, much skinnier, and I can compare them for you here. So you see much smaller here and a way lighter. This is a great stick for some light music like jazz. So then we have fives. This is the stick I'm gonna recommend that you start with, a 5B, because it is just enough weight that you're gonna get a nice workout when you're doing your rudiments and practicing, um, and versatile enough to play a couple different genres, and um, it's just a great starter stick. So if you haven't purchased yet, you can look down below and see some of the options. I'll leave links to different kinds of sticks down there and you can go ahead and order those. Um, the last thing you're gonna see is whether you want a wood tip or a nylon tip. So these are both seven A's. I do like light drumsticks, so. Here's a wood tip and here's a nylon tip. Nylon is just like a plastic tip as opposed to the natural wood. Why would we have nylon versus wood? This is really just a preference, whether you like the sound or you don't like the sound or whether you like the way the nylon bounces as opposed to the wood tip. So um, that's the difference there and that's really up to you. It's not necessarily a genre thing. So when you're searching, you're searching for weight and thickness and you're searching for um, the sound that the stick itself would make. And there's many other options that you're gonna see, but I say, as a beginner, just keep it basic and just get started. And listen, while you're ordering your sticks, if you don't have something, you can still practice. You can. Because all you need to do is like go to your utensil drawer, grab some wooden spoons, flip them over, and get to work pounding. Um, pencils, uh, anything you have in there. You can practice while you're waiting for your sticks to come in. And if you don't know where to practice, watch the next video on drum pads because I'm gonna tell you what you need there so that you can really get yourself off the ground and making some nice music. So I hope you enjoyed that and hope it was informative. Come to the next lesson and thanks for taking five today.